Let me stop you right there. It ain't it ain't an accusation. It's 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 in black and white, bro. I'm 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 reading your lawyer pleading on your behalf trying to get this record sealed because of this information that you gave. It's you saying that you never said that you didn't do it, but you had me believing for five years that you kept it solid, dog. The, the, the document that you're seeing is from a prosecution misconduct but, hearing. Okay, but so if you saying that you gave them just the phone information because you knew nothing was in the phone. I always tell you, hey, ah, don't do this. Hey, ah, don't do that. Hey, ah. I agree with you, Shay. But and you so used to tell me, ah, it's just some weed. So if it's just some weed, why you ain't just go in there and chin up? This is what Brian Steele say. He said, if it comes out on June 6, 2018, that Mr. Davis gave information, and it says, that's a lot of information on a lot of people that are well people that are well known in this community. That would not be bode well for Mr. Davis or his security interest at all. Like, wh who they talking about though? They say well known people uh, in the community, like uh, they talk about the, the people who uh, you, I had to make it look juicy for them. I had to act like these people was always my people. However, uh, so I'm in a But, um, uh, I mean, you tell, you told me, you told me your life. I fully agreed that this brother is wrong. Uh, editing, cropping out everything and putting things in the wrong place like it's a motherfucking song. Uh, this brother has moved words from one place to one another. He, have, he had to probably go to do Pro Tools or some type of shit in reference to this matter. So, honestly, bro, the brother is completely misleading people into the wrong direction and still trying to save face at the same time. However, no person on earth was affected by the position my lawyer did. My lawyer went and uh, made it look juicy. Like I said, made it look juicy for these individuals to somehow, you know, show the misconduct that went on within this case. Hello? That's what I'm going to say. What's law? You at work out? Yeah. So do you mind me telling the internet that you tried to take charge for me and I did out? No, I mind you know that, bro. I say, I don't mind me. Huh? You my co-defendant. He had nothing to do with our case out. So I don't know why the hell he act like I done told him on my co-defendant. So that's what I'm trying to clarify. The whole world think I just told on my co-defendant. That's all, bro. But what, I'm, no, what, bro. I'm trying to, what I'm trying to clarify is that uh, did I ever tell on you, uh, you my co-defendant? You my little no, brother who tried to take the charge. Yes, but you can tell it the end there. Uh. I'm saying, answer the question, like, did I? Uh, Nah, then you ain't never told me, nigga. Uh, I just want to make sure. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on Rollo addressing the snitching allegations once again that came out online on him the other day. And like I said before, bro, I'm not laughing at the situation or what Rollo going through or nothing like that. It's just when that nigga say that make you juicy thing, bro, I can't help but laugh, dog. It ain't laughing at Rollo or nothing. It's just his lingo, bro. That nigga be funny to me when he talks sometimes but if you follow this channel you know i rocks with rallo what he brought to the game the energy and when he will put that positive message out in them interviews bro about making sure you're good outweigh your bad in life making sure you're trying to do better and be better and him doing for the community feeding the homeless i always had a lot of respect for that and stuff like that we all make mistakes and got wrong doing so i never looked at it like hey bro he doing you know I, I took it as what it was though but overall i felt Felt like Rollo had a good heart in what he was trying to do with the people. But the snitching allegations came out online the other day. Rollo immediately denounced him. Hey, my nigga, ain't no snitching going on over here. Ain't nobody doing time for me. I ain't tell on nobody. Kept it solid. Then we actually see the phone call get put out by John Doe that he had with Rollo. When I heard that, I instantly knew the phone call was clipped up a little bit. I said, hold on. I make videos all the time, every day, YouTube. I'm like, hold on, nigga, something ain't right about this audio. I listened to it, but I said, okay, cool. Then it came out. The guy said it was edited himself to protect names. Rollo even said itself, hey, man, this shit edited and moved around, and the context isn't right. 
Rallo said, ain't nobody doing time for me. Basically saying niggas was doing too much online. He actually had the guy, he called in eventually with 1090 Jake on the phone. And I had a link in the description for that. Like, hey, bro, I tried to pay somebody and, and I tried to work a move. And you heard that even in a phone call, he had to just get him something fly. He was trying to make up stuff to possibly be able to come home and beat the situation. But he said, I didn't tell on nobody, didn't snitch on nobody. Nobody is doing time for me. Well, now Rollo has actually came out again today and addressed the situation again on Instagram and said this. Can't nothing get past the goat of paperwork at 1090 J. It's sad how the world bashed me thinking I was a rat. I wasn't even going to respond until 21 Savage called my lawyer asking, did I corroborate? That shit broke my heart. But I'm honored that he was able to hear the truth from other than me. Go follow and watch the homie YouTube video. Hashtag free Rallo. 21 Savage went in the comments and said, the lawyer said you didn't tell on nobody but yourself. And I ain't gonna lie, bro, that does look away. You know, damn, nigga, you call him a lawyer. And that's why I tell y'all, bro, calling niggas and asking niggas as they snitching and calling people lawyers. That can make you feel away, bro. Rollo said that broke his heart and everything. So he going to keep fighting his name and defending it. And I get it and understand it, nigga. You got to protect your brand. You don't want nobody throwing a jacket on you for something you did not do. And like I want to say this overall, bro, this is street stuff. Snitching is street stuff. That's criminal. Uh, niggas going through street stuff. When these things get brought online, bro, that means you putting it out there for the world to have an opinion on it. And niggas got to understand the world ain't the streets. I would keep these type of things private. That's just me. Y'all do what y'all do. Recorded phone calls, putting paperwork online, which Rollo put his is all over the internet now. Like, hey, nigga, ain't no telling, ain't nothing going on, nothing to that. But I'm just like, bro, bringing the internet and people, because most of these people that follow hip hop are not living street lives, bro. I know it looks like they are. They not. Most of the people that consume hip hop, uh, uh, consume hip hop or suburb kids. Most of the people you see in the comments are suburb kids. But, you know, the voices that matter come from this culture and everything. But just know, bro, like keeping that street stuff off the internet is best. But, you know, we're in a different time and place to each his own. I, hey, man, y'all stay successful, stay blessed. Rollo should be coming home soon. Get back to his business, get back to what he was doing. 1000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot. Tell me what y'all think, man.